Hi, my elevens. How are you? It's Cooley. How are you doing today? I huh, wanted to bring you outside because it's amazingly gorgeous. I'm going to be doing this more and more. So um, please, um, let's have some fun here. Let's get away from my cats. I have three cats. Hold on. At the most inopportune times, they will decide to play with cords, but that's okay. That's life. So, hey, everyone, if you don't know who I am, first of all, if you know me, welcome back. Thank you for being here. Um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Queen Cooley. I am uh, a shaman. I'm an activator. I help people find their gifts and activate them and bring them into alignment so that they can have the life that they truly want. And, you know, I didn't have a specific message today. I didn't have something um, printed up that I wanted to say, but I um, was thinking about 11s and, you know, just talking with clients. And it seems as though we have always had a hard road. And so many 11s that I talk to hate that they're an 11. They hate the journey. They can't stand being here. And I get it. I understand. It's not easy. But I was hoping that I could maybe take a little bit of a different lens for you and show you the beauty of being an 11 because, and I'll tell you why, you are one of God's elite warriors if you're an 11. I believe that 11s are chosen ones. I could be wrong. That's just my personal humble opinion. You can have your own. Um, but 11s are a master number, just like 22s and 33s, which means that we've been here reincarnated more times than the other numbers, which also means that we have more pressure on us because the what's been set on our hearts to do for the world is usually on a global scale. When I've always thought this way, ever since I was four years, five years old, when I was five years old, I wrote down in one of my journals that I wanted to have um, like an epic successful company, something like that. Um, I think that most 11s feel this way, that we are here for a reason. And because 11s are fun, but we're also super duper serious. Yeah, we take life too seriously. In fact, one of the things I'd like to tell you is to lighten up. And I think we take things seriously because we think that everything's about us when in reality, it's not. <laughs> I'm being told by people to lighten up. So if I get that message more than a couple of times, I guess I need to lighten up and let my hair down. And they wanted me to say the same for you, the guides, because I am someone who can speak to God, speak to archangels. I, I speak to my ancestors, your ancestors, people who have crossed over and animals who have crossed over. Right. And you are so loved. And if you had any idea how much you're loved, you would never feel alone. But even if you do know how much you're loved, a lot of times I still feel alone, right? It sounds good. Oh yeah, you know, they all love us in the realms and all, all that. That's wonderful. But I'm still here by myself, right? In this realm. In this realm where most of us have never felt as though this was our home. We've never felt like we belonged here. I've never felt that way. And that's because from a very young age, we were targeted right? We were targeted by the darker beings or the, the dark ones, I call them. That's basically just the darker beings. It's not of God. It's not of spirit. It's not of the divine, whatever you believe in. Because they saw us. They saw you in all your glory. They saw you shining your light. That's what you came here to do. Shine your light and help others. And then beyond that, whatever your personal expression is, that's what you're here for. We didn't come here just to have fun and chill. I mean, it'd be nice, but I don't think that <laughs> this 3D is that, right? It's not an easy life down here at all, but it's even harder for us. I'm not saying that like a pity party or anything. I'm just saying it's actually fact because I don't think I've ever, ever, ever felt as though I fit in anywhere. I didn't fit in with friends. I didn't fit in with work. It doesn't matter where I went in the world, right? It doesn't matter if I'm traveling or if I'm here in the States. I never felt that I fit in, even with my family, even though they loved me, right? It's just that we're so different. We think differently. We feel differently. We're just different beings. And because we're different, 
And we've been treated that way our whole lives and felt that from a very young age. And on top of feeling all of that and knowing that it's a truth, actually to be getting attacked when you're, you know, five years old with the goal of shutting you down, not just down, but actually off so that you didn't know your worth. You didn't think you had any talents. You didn't think you would amount to anything. You didn't think because they wanted to stop you from shining your light. And how do you do that? Well, you start when they're young and you hurt them, right? And that's what they did to me and also many of you 11s. But the good news is this. You guys are all divine sentient beings. And if you look at how you are as an 11 with what I just said through that lens, through the lens of I'm different, I've never belonged here, I'm not from here, this isn't my home, it never will be, and nobody gets me, nobody understands me. And you keep believing that and sending that out to the universe. Remember, I always say everything is energy. That is a very lower level, right? That's a lack mentality. It's a fear-based mentality. It's, I don't have enough. I'm unworthy. I don't, I'm not enough. I don't have enough. Right. And that's what you're sending out into the world. And the universe hears that and said, okay, let me give you more of that. Versus a lens of love and joy and happiness and one of, no, I'm not from here. And no, I don't fit in. But guess what? I believe that I'm a chosen one. And you are too. And I believe that I'm here for a reason. And that reason, I know what it is, right? To activate and help others and heal them wherever I can. And work with both people and animals. And here's my bluebird. I have some, I have some amazing bluebirds here and I just love them. Um. Thank you guys. That's support from my peeps. Thank you. If you look at it through the lens of God sent you here because you're an elite warrior of his. And if he was going to put you anywhere, if you were him, where would you put your elite warriors? Well, you put them in certain places where it's dark and hard. And they could shine their light because when they shine their light, when you shine your light, everyone sees. It's like, right? It's amazing. And the stronger you get, the more you shine, the more the, the light shines, the darkness goes, right? So you were put in strategic places, usually without any support on your own. This is a hard walk, right? This is a solo walk solo walk, solo journey. But if you look at it that way, as if I'm here on a mission and yeah, it's hard, but you know what? I was created to do this, right? I can do this stuff with my eyes closed now, like that song. And no, I still have challenges. No, it's, it's still not easy, but I do have times where I'm like, I'm okay. I am now strong. I'm very, very ready. Lots of times unbreakable compared to how I used to be. And it's all because I changed how I looked at myself. If you look at yourself as weak, you'll be weak. You are what you think. But if you look at yourself as I'm strong, I was made and created to be here. I accepted this life and everything in it that I'm experiencing. I signed off on it and I'm here to um, mess up some stuff you can put in the words I'm thinking of, right? I'm here to make other people's way easier, but I'm also here to have more enlightenment for myself and to help others. And then when you vibrate that out into the world on a much higher level, that's abundance. That's love, abundance, and everything that goes with it and joy and happiness. And the universe says, yeah, yeah, girl, I'll give you more of that. Yeah, let's go. So even though, Sometimes it definitely feels hard. And sometimes when we walk, it's difficult steps, but man, you're a warrior and you're a chosen one. You're, you're a badass. Don't act anything less because it doesn't serve you. 
that doesn't serve the realms for you to be weak. And I know a lot of you out there have had really tough lives and I so I'm not diminishing that. And I hope that things change for you and get better, but this is a starting place, at least from where I'm sitting. So as you guys know, for the last seven years, I've been getting downloads from God, from different beings, mostly from, from God and my ancestors. And I've been writing them all down. And he tells me he wants me to get them out to the world. So I'm going to be doing that on my other channel, which I'll leave a link below. And probably I'll start the membership up right away. So you'll be hearing more and more about that on social media. And it'll be a place for you guys to go. You can work with me um, through the Brave Academy, which is three months. I really recommend it. It's about how you can become unbreakable because we all work alone as warriors. And there's a lot of ways that the enemy tries to infiltrate us and it's all done through the mind. Okay. Um, so I worked with a shaman for a year and a half and he taught me how to be unbreakable. And a lot of it was basically he taught me how to be that I had worth to myself, right? Worthiness is huge. It's priceless. It's a priceless gift to learn about you're worthy. You're worth something, right? You're worth a lot. You're chosen when you're here, you're worthy, man. You are you're amazing. So I wanted to just read you something really short. It's a lesson in life that they wanted you to hear today. And the key is that every act of kindness is recorded. Give them what you have and what, what we have given you, which is acceptance, love, no judgment, compassion, joy, and laughter. Unconditional love is not dependent on money, status, or spirituality. Just love. Be kind and patient. And I had a horse before the horse I have now who I rescued, who had a lot of issues. And he had said, being with you is the happiest I'd ever been. You accepted me in my terrible state and gave me hope. For that will now be returned to you tenfold. So, you know, God sees what you've done and he rewards those who help the unfortunate ones who need a voice, a healing and love. And that's for you guys. That's the message for you. I know a lot of you out there, even though this is a solo walk and difficult, you try your best every day to put a smile on your face and do work that you probably may not like and help those that are less fortunate could be a human, could be a child, and could be an animal, whatever it is. And everything is seen and recorded. And that's not to, you know, ruffle your feathers or pat you on the back. It's just a fact. Because we all know that you're going to do the right thing, no matter if anybody's watching or not, because that's the way we are as 11s. So please understand that you are special, that you are loved, that you are cherished, and you're here to make a difference because you're an 11. And think of it this way. How could you make a difference if you weren't different yourself? How could you make a difference if you weren't special or you weren't, because you then you'd never be seen. So I am here to help you. If you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one to become stronger, to find out what your gifts are, to get activated and become in alignment with your true gifts and what you're here to have this life that you've always wanted. Or if you want to start the Brave Academy, you can check everything out. The links will be below. You can see all the modules. And I am looking forward to working with some of you. Okay, thanks so much. You guys have a great night. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.